I don't know if there's a golden rule. I can tell you this, that I believe anything is possible, right? I live in the world of possibility. And I also believe that anything, we can accomplish anything with our two hands and just putting in the work with our two hands. And also, you hear this often, but it's really, really true. You gotta find something, if you love what you do and, find, and be passionate about what you do and find something that you can be passionate like, it really helps. You know, it gives you that motivation when you wake up in the morning. So before a big movie comes out, before back in the days when I was wrestling with WWE, a WrestleMania match, anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment and I'd just remind myself, all right, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. Had no place to live. A lot of shit happened then when I moved to Nashville. I was arrested multiple times by the time I was 16 years old. I gotta remember that. Um, if I were playing on this team, which my, you know, my skills are. Um, but before I lace up, before I get on court, before I play in these big games, before I go to the Staples Center, where history is there, those are, those are historic walls there at the Staples Center. Uh, I would remember that, and it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy sh the, sh the stuff I have around me right now, this is the sh that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind, because it allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. I had a dream, uh, and that dream was to play professional football. I fell in love with the game of football, played at University of Miami. My goal was to play in the NFL. Again, because we didn't have a lot of money, so I wanted to be the first one to buy my parents a house, buy myself a house. I never lived in a house until I was 29 years old. Uh, and the dream didn't come true. I didn't get drafted. I didn't get any offers, nothing. I had to work up in Canada, the Canadian Football League. When I was cut from there, I had, uh, my dad had to come pick me up. And I'll never forget, we were on I-75. He lived in Tampa, came to Miami, got in his pickup truck. We drove up I-75. And I'm 23 years old. I am forced to move back in with my parents, which I was, yeah. you know, because you, you want to tackle the world and yeah, yeah, you have yeah. all these dreams. And none of it came true. And it was also hard because all my friends around me, those teammates, they were NFL stars and they became millionaires buying their parents a home. You know, that's the thing, you want to buy your mom a home. Now everything, my production company and all marketing, are everything is seven bucks. Really the two things I want to say are, you got to be the hardest workers in the room. And don't fuck the opportunity up. The truth is, I really didn't know what I was going to say because you guys, you, you guys are at the top, right? You made it, like you're here, right? Um, so I thought what I'd do, instead of, instead of telling you what I think you should be doing, or what, how you could be better, or I thought, well, let me just speak from the heart, speak from my gut, and really not have anything prepared, but just tell you what's worked for me. And maybe some of the stuff that's worked for me might work for you now, currently, presently as you guys have your goals and ambitions, NBA championship, MVPs in this room, things like that, but then further on down the line, as you guys continue to live your life. The first thing I would just want to say is, this idea and this notion that you can be anything you want, you can accomplish anything you want, right? We hear that, you've heard that from the time you were little boys, you hear that now, you're already incredibly accomplished, you can win an NBA championship, MVP of the league, you could become president, you could become governor, you could be in entertainment. You could do whatever you want to do. You guys know that. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. I really need to make a change in my career. I need to be me, and I want to have the kind of career that is a global career. And I said, I, I'm not quite too sure how we're going to do it, but I need you to buy into the vision with me, and I'm willing to put in the work of my own two hands. As I was telling my, my agency at that time in yeah. Hollywood, they all looked at me like I had three heads. They thought, okay, sure, 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 kind of placating me. And then eventually I left them and, um, and then decided, you know what, my name is The Rock and I come from the world of professional wrestling and I look the way I look and I talk the way I talk and I love to work out and you know what, this is who I'm gonna be. And then here I am today.